And let's try again. So new tester public initialize readme python. So I'm at a point now where I want to start sharing my code. And what better way to do that than through GitHub? Uh, I've never used GitHub before. As you can see, I only have one project up. And I went out on the internet to look for some help. And I came across this one by this guy. I hate tomatoes. Great video. Highly recommend it. Uh, and that's how to use Git inside of VS Code. And when I followed along with the instructions, everything went perfectly. But I wanted to do a couple of extra things. I wanted to be able to dual boot between Linux and Windows um, and still be able to upload and download. And that was not covered here. And I wanted to be able to use a virtual environment. Uh, and that's not covered here either. And it's when I started trying to do things switching between uh, operating systems and setting up a, a virtual environment, things start to go wrong for me. Uh, and it was mainly with the, the Windows version. So um, I'm going to walk you through my kind of workaround because I think uh, I wish uh, like a week ago or so that I had stumbled across something like this myself. Uh, I assume you have git downloaded and I'm working with VS code. Okay, so my first question that I, I wanted answered was uh, how do I use virtual environments uh, with version control? And I found this article, the right ways to use virtual environments. And basically uh, he walks through these six or seven steps on how to do it. Then, uh, as I was kind of uploading, downloading, switching between versions, I started to have problems with authentication. And I must have read this yeah, umpteen times about checking to see where my SSH keys were, um, generating SSH keys, um, this thing called agent, um, and uh, VS Code was not playing nice. I kept getting uh, errors like this, couldn't read, or this permission denied public key uh, error message, and it was driving me crazy. So I broke with his workflow almost entirely. Uh, and so I'm just going to show you how that works. So um, what I do is GitHub, I start with setting up a new environment. Um, I'm going to make it public and I'm going to initialize it with two things. I'm going to 
user readme and uh, add a git ignore. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, GitHub Desktop. Uh, and I'm going to let them take care of this behind the scenes. So we clone it here. And then I'm just going to open it straight in visual code. This is something that you can select uh, depending on which uh, text editors or IDEs you've got installed on your system. So if we open it now in visual code, um, you'll see that everything's there. So if I open a new terminal now, and I'm working in the, the git bash, and this I'm going to set up a pip env uh, environment. Okay, now that's done. What you'll see over here is we've got two. What this two is are the two new files that were just created when we made our pip env virtual environment. Uh, now you have two choices here. Uh, you can either uh, add these to your uh, GitHub uh, or you can add them to your git ignore file. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to git ignore and this is this is the ignore file that was created by github and if i go down to pip env you can see that it recommends including a pip file but just for now i'm going to add these two so if i hit save you'll see over here that that two has gone down to one and really all that is, is the pip file and the pip file lock have been ignored because they've been added to this file. And the git ignore uh, folder itself has been updated. So now all I have to do uh, is uh, stage this change. You can see here this, is an, uh, this has been modified. Here we can click the plus sign to stage the change and now it goes into stage we can add a message first commit and we can commit and we can push now to github we can do that in one of two ways we can either type uh, git push here uh, or we can use uh, push from here uh, so for now I'll just hit that one and then we'll switch over and if I go to git ignore you will see that these two have been added and my message first commit has been updated so let's try pulling as well testing uh, say testing one two three and commit that switch back over and we can try to pull and if we go over here you will see the readme has been updated and it's as easy as that really so i created so i created the um, virtual env if i just do uh, a quick pip list you'll see i'm not in my virtual env so what I'll do now is uh, pip env shell to launch uh, the pip env environment. Uh, and now if I do pip list, you can see I have uh, almost nothing installed. Uh, let's install something. Uh, I often use pandas. So let's pip env install pandas, no particular version. Uh, and whilst it's doing that, I'm going to add a few more files. I'm going to add a, let's say, utils.py uh, file. And let's also add um, a main.py. And we're just going to use the if name is main um, on our main file. And we shall. Uh, 
and we can import numpy uh, in our utils file. So we've got a few changes now. Uh, if I just uh, again type pip list, you can see I've got my pandas installed plus its dependencies and numpy is a dependency. Um, Um, and it's got a couple of other dependencies as well. Uh, and if we look over here, you'll see we've got two things uh, to update. Um, I'm also going to add a requirements file, which I think with pip env, just the pip lock file is enough, but, but I'm familiar with the requirements file and so I'm going to add one anyway. So we do pip freeze and then requirements and as you can see that has added all my necessary dependencies. We stage, we stage, we stage and this is a skeleton setup. We commit and then we can push. And if we fly over here very quickly, you can see, ah yes, there's everything. There's my main file, if name is main. There's my utils file, import, import, uh, requirements text, uh, and so on. And so it's as easy as that. Um, no SSH required, no authentication required. I just let uh, the GitHub desktop and VS Code, I let them solve all of my problems for me. So that's it basically. I'm ready to rock and roll now. I'm ready to uh, uh, import from utils uh, and start writing my code. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions or comments, let me know down in the comments section. Till next time, goodbye.